Okay, it's the sand dollar here. It is 7:25, Valentine's Day, back at the beach. Had a little bit of a front come in last night, and tides a little ex extra high and coming in. Was hoping to do a water hunt this morning, but being that the tides a little bit extra high today. Um, not gonna be able to till probably next week till it switches back around. I know we got warmer weather coming. Race week, uh, Daytona 500s in a week. Uh, things are really picking up here on the beach, so that's why I'm back today to hunt. Uh, today I'm running my uh, Garrett Sea Hunter again and my stainless steel trusty sand scoop and my gold digger land and sea pinpointer so um, let me get set up and start hunting and uh, as soon as I hit a target I'll let you know okay I just found a target it's about six inches deep it's a ring man's ring it's all tarnished. It's been there a while. Let me see what I can see in it. Okay, I see a 9.25. So it's sterling silver. Ain't no gold. It's got a little stone in the middle of it. Probably been there a couple weeks. It's pretty tarnished. But salt water don't take long to tarnish silver. So, nice find. So, let you know I've hit another target. Figured I'd take a little bit of a break. We got a front moving in, and uh, that's why we got exceptionally high tide today. Um, I've been detecting now about an hour. Um, other than that ring I found just a bunch of trash so if the weather holds out I'll do some more detecting but uh, if it starts raining real bad then I guess I'll call it a day but better days are coming better weather it's supposed to be really nice this weekend so I'll probably be back out detecting sometime all right I'll let you know if I hit another target Okay, I come across my first coin of the day, a dime. Been there a while, it's tarnished. Uh, date on it is 2002. So, all right, hit another target, I'll let you know. Okay, uh, just come across the surface fine. Right there at the end of my toe is a quarter. So, let's pick it up. Yep, that's a quarter. Nineteen eighty-seven. Tarnished on one side. The other side's not bad. All right, let's you know if I hit another target. Okay, just found a coin. I think it's a penny, it's probably about 10 inches deep. Real faint signal, so I figured I'd dig it. And uh, it looks like a penny. Yeah, it's a penny, modern penny. But hey, a penny's a penny, right? So, all right, I'll let you know I've hit another target. Okay, I'm going to do a wrap up here. I've been hunting now about two and a half hours. Uh, tide's getting really high, so I need to get off this beach before I can't get off the beach. So, anyway, I found this piece of tin. That was my first find. I don't know what it is. Um, that and three, four, five, six bottle caps. And I found this one. It's not really a bottle cap, some kind of seal. It says, enjoy safety, please read warning below. So, I don't know what it came off of. Uh, this there is a furniture bolt. Fell out of somebody's piece of furniture. 
a nail, fishing sinker. This here is a pipe cleaner. Had a piece of wire in it, so it triggered it. Found a canopy stake, a little plastic toy star. And then I found a quarter, a dime, and a penny, and this sterling silver ring. I did double check it, stamped inside, it says uh, 9.25. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's, it's down right there where my finger's at. That and it's made in the USA. So that's a good thing. At least it's not no Jap import. And it's got this stone in the middle. I doubt it's real, but I'll do a test on it when I get home. So that was my best find for the day. But anyway, at least I got some fresh air and I'm leaving the beach cleaner than I found it. During the summertime, I found so many bottle caps in one month I could fill a five gallon bucket. And when the bucket gets full, I take it to the scrapyard and cash it in. You know, it gives me extra 10 bucks, but hey, I gotta pick them up anyway. I might as well get something out of them, right? So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, better weather and better days are coming. And then we're talking real soon, because I think race week starts uh, this, this coming weekend. So we got uh, a week to 10 days of uh, racing up here in Daytona. So anyway, uh, like I said, thanks for watching and happy Valentine's Day to all you people out there who got sweethearts. You're lucky, trust me. Yeah, I'm a widower and uh, good wives don't grow on trees, trust me. So anyway, thanks for watching, please subscribe.